Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. That's right, today, we're out and about, all right? Today we're outside, uh, we're doing a little bit of uh, walking and talking. Woo, it's fucking hot, man, it's crazy hot. This thing is killing me. So, in today's episode, we're gonna be walking and talking like we used to do, all right? about whatever the hell's on my mind. Um, as you guys already know, what's on my mind right now. <laughs> I'm out here, um, we're in this, uh, this Mark of the Beast, all right? As they, um, as they force us um, to comply or else. You already know the thing is, you know, you already know the deal. What is that or else, exactly? So what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you a little bit of just where I'm at. I'll give you a little context. All right, I'm gonna be flipping the camera around. All right. I'm gonna be doing a lot of this, all right? So that way um, I can talk. But right now, um, I'm right here in El Centro. All right, I'm in El Centro Historico, all right? So basically, I'm in the epicenter of, see? Of the city, of where I live. I'm literally in downtown. And so everybody out here, you know, is uh, in this part of town is like on super high precaution. As you guys can see, everything's closed down. Um, the police are keeping an eye out. If I don't got this thing on, I could get in trouble. So, you know, got to keep it on here. Um, the reason I'm a little bit more eh, is because I'm walking around with my ID because I just had to go do some transactions, some banking transactions. So I got my ID on me. You know, usually I walk around with no ID. And again, if I ever get hassled, which I've never been hassled out here, um, you know, whatever, you know, they don't know who the fuck I am and they can't find out. But um, right now they can, <laughs> just so. Um, and again, you know, they're treating not wearing this as uh, almost worse of a crime than uh, murder. So. You know, restaurants are only operating in delivery form. Everybody has to wear their mask um, for another um, for another period of another month. So it is what it is. But what are you gonna do? And as you guys can see, you know, I'm I'm you know they're everywhere. So I was just I uh, just putting it on right now. But I do know that what I'm carrying in my hand is also very scary to them. So this is why I do what I do. Because you saw when I point this at them, it's like pointing a, a an, you know, something like an armament, a gun. So that's why I love the camera. I'm not a big gun. I mean, again, I'm all about gun rights, but I'm not a big uh, gun guy myself. Just, uh, you know, just need what I need. But anyways, that's not the point. <laughs> Today we're just walking around. Thoughts on my brain. This is going on my regular channel. I want to show you around. This park is usually popping. But um, again, it's a tiny little park. Any tourist that usually comes out here, this is the place you um, most of you guys come to. I'm always telling you guys to come to these restaurants and these area right here. But this is a very tourist heavy, heavy area. And it's all shut down. I don't want to go in there because I could get in trouble. But I'm trying to avoid that real quick. Hold on, I'm waiting for that music. One second. So yeah guys, sorry, I was just waiting for that music, uh, you know, to get out of the way so that I can focus on what I gotta do. But as you guys can see, um, this is a very tourist area, heavy area. And, um, you know, there's cameras over there and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, basically in this whole area right now, you know, it's um, it's a major lockdown. You know, this is the, the tourist heavy area. This is where all the expats would be. You know, this is where all the, the money is coming into. This is the area that's getting genderfied. And, um, you know, frankly, basically what's going on, if you guys can't figure it out, it's the same thing that's going on in a lot of the world right now which is um, a lot of people out here all over the world are basically, you know, um, see, look, as you guys can see, he's just patrolling. I don't know what he's patrolling. He's looking for microbes in the air, I guess. I don't know. Here, let me, let me get some sun. Sorry, I just, uh, 
let me just get some sun out here you know looking for microbes in the air i don't know what he's doing whatever god bless him <laughs> whatever anyways but the point i'm making is that you know this is all like beyond ridiculous i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys uh you know we're under the same uh um the same boat here when it comes to that now basically every day that passes more and more people are just telling me damn you were right damn i can't believe what's going on damn <laughs> what happened <laughs> i'm like well you know what happened you you guys let this happen this is sad reality though but not only is it sad not only not only is it the sad reality but that it, but but it is the reality and um it's a reality that was created by most of us by allowing this to continue to happen look man when i see mass when i see a lot of you guys out on the street when i see a lot of you people out there um not complying with government orders i applaud you i applaud you because again that's the only way the only way that we can fight this by the way there's a lot of ways we can fight this and that's what today's episode is going to be about there you go is how, how are we going to fight this how can we fight this well basically look when my sister with a with her kids and family and things like that just like a bunch of other people out there like you guys you know with kids and family and so many things and you guys ask me straight up what can i do what can i do there's i can't do anything i'm like yo you can actually do a lot of things you know you can basically just spread this knowledge that's what you're gonna do by the way i'm walking in the sun because i want to get some sunlight i'm out here sweating on purpose i want to make sure i stay healthy especially now in these times that i'm not allowed to be outdoors um as i was at the place where i'm at right now i mean as i, as I was at the place where i was gonna go get um you know when i was doing my my banking financial stuff um when i was doing that earlier right now basically um you know i saw everybody first of all when i went into the store they wanted to take my temperature good thing i went in an uber because imagine if i go in there now i'm probably not allowed in they think i got a fever when it's really just 170 000 degrees outside that's number one number two um yeah sorry it is see it's so hot I'm like, but number two this thing stinks just being honest number no but no, anyways but number two when i was sitting there waiting for uh for them to do what, what they needed to do also they were making me uh oh coronavirus anyways. <laughs> sorry i can't help myself anyways so yeah so like right now what's going on you know what i mean as i'm i'm inside uh this bank type place you know waiting for them to do my transaction waiting for them to do what they need to do and all that stuff um you know i see everybody wearing gloves wearing this some people wearing the plastic face mask all this shit and uh, and all they're doing is spreading the disease all over the place if it were really around then really a big problem you know what i mean all they were all they were basically doing is spreading it everywhere making things worse because the thing is look i actually have some background when it comes to this stuff because i myself um you know i was in the restaurant industry i myself was in the restaurant industry and all this stuff very interesting but anyway so like i said i was in the restaurant industry myself and so like i know a little bit about sanitation and about all this other stuff <laughs> sorry i couldn't help myself let that guy be do his thing um but yeah, as I was saying, you know, um, I know a lot about sanitation. You know, um, I got people, family members um, that are in the medical field. And again, you know, like the more, you know, the more we watch that thing with the doctors, um, that interview that got banned off of YouTube, the more, you know, we're talking, um, you know, the more people with real knowledge on all this stuff. Again, like people in the restaurant business, like people in, um, in the health industry you know so many people because again people think that oh just um 
just by you know the health industry is only a, a small group of people but the, actually the health industry is so many people and everyone out there that's been in the service industry aka the restaurant industry listen man you guys know about sanitation you better know about sanitation otherwise you ain't getting a job so anyways long story short if you really look at what's going on and what people are doing and how people are you know react i mean you know um, behaving you know things are a mess I was just uh, talking to my sister in Miami and she was just saying like, holy shit, everybody's out on the street even though everything's closed, even, even though everything's uh, gone. I mean, everything's, uh, you know, there's nothing open. It's just a few things that are open. Everything is closed, but yet everybody's out and about. They're just done with this shit. And that's the thing, you know, the same thing here. So a lot of people seem to be very bothered by being in uh, this uh, um, open air prison. They're, you know, seem to be really pissed off about being, uh, you know, stuck um indoors being in um what you may call this how do you call this again a uh, house arrest right and they're just going out and so you know even out here you know if people are pissed you know they got to go out and go out in mass they can't stop all of us as it's been pretty evident on the news and everywhere as people keep going out and doing their thing and the greatest thing about all this is is that even though they're faking the numbers and saying all these people are getting sick, you know, again, it's like, oh, they opened the doors and uh, we got a third, like a thousand gazillion new cases and like a bazillion more deaths and they're all coronavirus. I'm like, bro, come on, man. You know, again, you know, anyone with two brain cells can figure out like, bro, none of it, that's impossible. You know and I mean, like, <laughs> come on, people, wake up. Um, you know, I think a lot of people are waking the fuck, fuck up. You know what I mean? A lot of people are realizing this shit. But man, you know, this is like, uh, like super duper crazy ridiculous. There's like another level of ridiculous. And uh, basically, you know, I, I just wanted to make this video um, as I'm walking back home, um, as I'm uh, in a sense, um, you know, I wanted to vent with you guys, just like uh, whatever the thoughts are in my mind, get some sun. I think I'm gonna see if I can get under the shade right now and all that stuff. But yeah, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I gotta, see look, that guy was slow, hold on. That guy was slowing down, um, you know, as soon as I put it on, he starts up again. And like I said, I got my ID on me. I'm trying, I'm not trying to start any conversations. Let me get under the shade because it's really hot. Woof, got some sun. I already got some sun today. But uh, yeah, you know, I just wanted to tell you guys what's on my mind. Hold on a second, I'm gonna put you here for one second. So I can clean my glasses and hopefully you can, can see me. But, uh, yeah, man, this whole thing is beyond crazy ridiculous. And, you know, we're allowing this. I, I don't want to wear the mask of the beast. I'm refusing to wear the mask of the beast. But the thing is that, like, unfortunately, if there's more people out there that want us to wear this mask of the beast, then we have to wear it. It's all about that social pressure. You know, that's why they brainwash the people and get that social pressure to be the one that forces you to wear this it's not like a government entity anymore it's not anything no it's the social pressure that's making people wear this shit and um you know that's why a lot of you know like i keep bringing up communism i keep bringing up um you know nazi germany i keep bringing up uh you know a lot of things like that because that's how these things work you know that's how these things are you know the fact that like um um it's it's um they the people in power announce certain measures and certain restrictions and certain laws and then they give it to the people and then the people decide and then basically it's that social pressure that moves the needle one way or the other but in order for them to get the people to listen they gotta have this stuff called propaganda which is what steers you know one way or the other in order to make a decision one way or the other and again this propaganda can be as simple as a commercial for uh, an item that you might want to buy or um, propaganda you hear in order for you know when you're voting for your favorite candidate and so on and so forth there's a lot of you know propaganda but again and uh, it's always in order to steer and and uh, manipulate your thought process and manipulate your uh, um, decision to sway your decision one way or the other I mean that's basically what it is and so you know, in order for the government to take this full control, you know, basically all they had to do was just create some sort of emergency, some sort of panic. They would get everybody to, in a sense, 
force the government to take measures and then bada bing bada boom here we are there's the measures that they're taking all right and the measures that they're taking is that all of a sudden the world overnight has become you know nazi germany has become communist cuba has become you know the ussr you know that's what the world has become all of a sudden you know um it's all about you know tattletailing on your neighbors um it's all about um you know um getting in trouble now for for not complying with the the insane uh, recommendations that don't make any sense and um and then all of a sudden now you know there's a bunch of things that are taking um priority over this you know there's a lot of um prioritizing meaning that we got to focus on you know taking care of uh, the people spreading the disease as opposed to you know the people actually committing crimes out there which is again crazy because again you know why would they want to all of a sudden like um go after more fiercely the people that are not complying well it's simply because again because if there's one that's not going to comply there's going to be many that don't comply and they can't have any of that you know so if you don't comply that just um you know that means that you're not going to if you're not going to comply with with this and you're not going to comply with anything else that is being brought forward so they got to take care of you accordingly and uh swiftly all right and so that's why you know basically when a lot of people are asking you know <laughs> what's going on with this listen man this is all a form of control not just this but everything that goes along with this it's all control and uh for anyone that willingly wants to wear this anyone that willingly you know follows any of those protocols set by them listen man you guys fell for the shit hook line sinker simple as that right now you should all be in defiance right now you should all be you know literally you know, literally letting everyone know what you know what everybody knows which is why have all of a sudden we lost our common sense why have all of a sudden overnight you know simultaneously everyone around the world to lose our common sense what the fuck happened should, I, I mean apparently we should have all been wearing our our fucking aluminum hats anyways but yeah you know all of a sudden you know people forgot how to take care of a cold people forgot how to take care of uh themselves and their sickness people forgot just the basics of how to react and act i mean again i i, I was just talking to my aunt that's taking care of my older grandma and she's a high risk you know and i was just telling her listen man in the past even if um this was like again the deadliest cold ever okay and all of a sudden they were just treating this on the news like any other cold and any other anything how would uh how would the reaction be from me coming home to visit you guys and they would basically say well you know the usual if all of a sudden you got the sniffles you're sick you got some sort of uh, problem and you're coming to visit me and grandma my aunt said you know well you know you just do the what you normally do you just sit far away you know you make sure not to make contact you make sure to keep your distance you know um don't don't drink from the same glass don't whatever but at the same time it's not like total 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 um quarantine against it it's nothing like that at all in fact it's more like yeah i'm trying to avoid yeah I'm, I'm gonna fucking film behind this as a backdrop for a little bit more uh all right you guys can see a little bit more but basically it's not like um you know it's not like um you know first of all what would happen is that yeah sure my my aunt and my grandma you know they're both in advanced age and uh, one of them you know my grandma is having some sort of uh problems you know yeah sure they would uh keep away from me and the last thing they would want is to get sick the last thing they would want is to get sick but if all of a sudden they got sick it wouldn't have been a big deal because hey they got sick um who got them sick grand um, i got them sick you know another family member you know meaning it's nothing uh, crazy nothing uh insane um you know as soon as uh, she was started uh, coming down with the sickness and going down with the sick you know going down with uh getting down with the sickness right <laughs> um we would take the preventative measures in order to make sure that grandma's okay and then yeah you know um at the end of the day it would most likely would not kill grandma but yeah grandma would probably be sick and probably not that sick but sick i mean depending on a lot of factors it could be how sick she is but it's not something you would shy away from in fact 
she would actually be happier that I'm the one that got her sick as opposed to um, having grandma be out and about and, uh, and a doctor's appointment and then getting sick from a stranger um, with a strain that her body probably can't recognize or fight off as, as easy and all of a sudden not even know that she got sick, not even take care of it and before you fucking know it, um, then grandma got, you know, is bye bye. And just shit like that and it's like, you know, why are we forgetting to you know, just um, wash your hands or uh, take vitamin C. And all of a sudden now, if I say take vitamin C, uh, I, my video could be taken off of the YouTube. Or if I say take zinc, or if I take, if I say, you know, take. <laughs> hey guys, uh, it seemed like the camera uh, caught Corona. It overheated, you know, I got a fever and it turned off. So anyways, with that being said, I don't know where the hell I left off because I was, you know, answering some phone calls in between getting the camera cool off for a bit. So I'm just going to end it there. I really hope you enjoyed today's walking and talking episode. Just what's on my mind. I know I used to do these all the time. Uh, probably going to do some more of these. So guys, if you're already, you're, because my bike broke, I fucking broke the pedal on my bicycle. That's also why I'm walking around like a dumbass. Uh, and I can't, now I can't get it fixed. It's like one thing after another with the bike. Anyways, guys, you already know the deal. I love you guys to death, all right? So you already know what's up. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell like, and more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. And um, you already know what to do. If you enjoy this content, the best thing you could do is just share this content, all right? Just share this, share my videos, and share other videos, and share knowledge, because that's all we can really do right now. It's just, uh, well, there's a lot of things we can do, but at the very least, you can share the knowledge, all right? So guys, thanks again for watching, and uh, see you guys manana. Bye. <laughs>